everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the pixie palace and today we are back for the weekly oracle card reading for january 30th 2022 and let me say it has been a wild ride i don't know about you guys but i have been feeling those energies again the roller coaster <laughs> we've been going through the retrograde of course um, all kinds of planetary energies. I will not say I know much about that stuff, but I do know how those energies feel. I didn't do a reading last week. I was all ready to sit down and do one. But last week, I just was not feeling the high vibes. I w went through kind of a funk. I think it came from an experience I had. Uh, a few days before that which i'll share in a separate video and i learned some things from it which so wasn't a total loss but i really didn't want to do a reading when i wasn't at my best at least in the energetic sense so i am back i am better <laughs> but anyways i am going to be using my one card draw as always just to see what the universe has to say this week um, we're actually already heading into February. That is crazy to me that we're almost done with this month. And I have a feeling we're going to be going into some more positive energies. Um, this month has been more about self-reflection, slowing down, really just uh, going with the flow a little bit more. Um, because January, we're always pressured to start the year with resolutions and uh, hit the ground running and da 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 da. And while I did kind of feel that energy at first, especially the first two weeks, and I realized after that it really wasn't working. I was really making it uh, even worse. So I was entering that resistant energy, and that's what really took me down for about a week. But in February, we're going to start seeing the fruits of our labors. Even if it's just on a small scale, we're going to start being uh, a little more inspired to go ahead with that one thing that we wanted to do. Or maybe to actually uh, change something up that maybe that was no longer serving you, but you could do something else to replace that. Uh, just all kinds of different things, but it's going to be a much more positive energy. And really, it's up to us to tap into that. Now, we could have positive things waiting for us all day long, but if we do not take that step or that action to cultivate that, to actually uh, bring that to life, then we're not going to see a lot of change. So just do keep that in mind while uh, while we're in our spiritual path. Yes, a lot of it is sitting with oneself, being in the present moment, gratitude being a big thing, uh, still is a big thing, and uh, all the meditation, the energetic work that is so, so important because that's a foundation for everything. But it's also up to us to take action. Um, and it doesn't mean necessarily like hustle or work really hard. And um, sometimes it's just acknowledging something within oneself. Sometimes it's um, actually uh, trying to uh, shift your perspective in a different way. Maybe looking at the same thing that you've been looking at in a different light. Um, or reaching out to someone that might need a little encouragement, a little bit of help. Um, with a kind word or a hug or uh, or even just a smile. The, the action can be very, very small, but it can bring huge results. So that's something I'm getting right now. But we are going to tap into the cards for more messages or maybe more of the same. As usual, I'm going to do a one card draw with Oracle of the Fairies by Karen Kay. And uh, we're going to see what what's out there for us this week so as i shuffle the cards i do want to let you guys know that i will be going on a trip um, this next saturday so i would not be in live chat for the readings of february um, and possibly the first one of march they will be scheduled they'll be ready to go so you will have a reading for those sundays it just it won't be live but hopefully when I come back, I'm thinking about doing a live stream in a reading. Um, if you guys would like to see that, comment below and let me know. So that way I know if it's something you're interested in. Um, I might not be as eloquent or as edited or polished. 
but it would be fun to engage with you guys that's the most important thing and to uh see what kind of messages uh come through with that so all right let's get into it <laughs> oh my god you cannot make this up i laugh at this because i have been seeing this for myself in so many ways is ridiculous all right all right Again, I'll have a screenshot of this card if you guys can't see it. The glare is really real sometimes. Ask for help. And you see the angel reaching out to you, basically, uh, with their energetic light and energy. And they're offering a help. And we always have a spirit guides and angels around us, or whatever you believe in. Um, we always have spiritual assistance. We just have to ask for it. The card says, ask for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say, now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. Now, this card can mean different things on different levels. Um, basically, with this, yes, at face value, yes, ask your spiritual team for assistance. Now, with angels and even spirit guides, you actually have to ask for help. Um, you can talk to them all day long and that's totally fine if you do that, whether you do that internally or even out loud and there's no wrong way to do it if you feel inclined to do that. But until you actually ask them to help you, they can't interfere with free will. And I learned that as well. I didn't realize that because I would pray and, uh, which is fine, you know, I still do that or meditate or just say what the heck guys why aren't you helping me and i didn't realize i actually had to be direct i had to actually ask for help um there there have been times in the past that i just didn't feel safe in my own skin and it was just because i was going through a lot of different things i was very uh in emotional state and i actually asked them to watch over my home so i asked will you please watch my home for such and such a time and you can even put a timeline on it now it doesn't mean that you use them and you ask them for easy way out because they won't do that they will not give you advice uh, on how to negatively impact anybody or to uh, do harm or anything like that so and they're not your secretaries okay <laughs> they're just here to give you spiritual guidance encouragement protection what have you and uh and sometimes it's not always in the way you expect to see it because we humans have this idea in mind oh this is exactly how it's going to look when i ask for help whether it's spiritual help or even help from other people that it's not always the way we're going to think it is so we have to be open-minded and open-hearted for different forms to come in as well as long as it feels right your intuition is guiding you you'll be on the right path so right now this week um we are told to not be so closed off to accepting help whether it's again spiritual or through friends or family or business people and I've been seeing this a lot because I've been trying to do everything all by myself and I was really putting a lot of pressure on myself and I'm still working on that <laughs> I'm kind of a perfectionist and that really came to my detriment uh, the past few weeks it really really made me remember that we are all here to help one another we are um, all connected in one form or one fashion and we have to remember that we're always being supported by our spiritual team but we're also here to support one another be a beacon of light to others um you know again it's going back to what i said earlier you could do the smallest little thing for someone else and that could make their world and that could even take them in a more positive um, standpoint in their lives and you never know exactly how you're going to affect someone else um, it, it, it's one of those things I learned early on from my mom she said everything you do or say affects someone else or something else 
uh, whether you see it or not. And it really made me mindful of my actions in many ways. Am I perfect at that? No, I'm not. I mess up a lot. I will be the first to admit it. But it's always with good intentions. And uh, there is no perfect person. It's just perfect intentions. So reeling it back, ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. It's not a sign of weakness. It's actually a sign of strength to ask for help, to know when you can't handle everything. And you're not supposed to handle everything. Now, on the flip side, don't ask for help expecting people to do everything for you. See, again, there comes a balance. There comes to a point of knowing when to ask for help and when not to. And you just are feeling lazy or, eh, I don't feel like this, I'll ask for help. Maybe my spiritual team will get it all done for me somehow. And, you know, it'll be like a genie in a bottle. I'll get my three wishes. It doesn't work like that. And damn straight, someone you ask someone else to do that, they're not going to do it for you either. It's one of those things we have to be respectful of the concept of help. We have to um, be self-sufficient, but also know when to ask for help, also know when to lean on others. Because sometimes that really helps us get us on, back on track. It helps us feel supported. It helps us maybe help someone else. Sometimes I ask for help, I don't know what else to do. That help doesn't come right away, whether it is spiritual or physical. And sometimes the only way I can get out of that funk is to help someone else. And it helps me get out of that uh, mindset for a while of worrying about my own circumstances. And I can definitely focus on bringing value to someone else. And I'm sure you've, a lot of you have heard that. Worrying doesn't serve us and it doesn't solve anything. Um, it just helps us waste time. And uh, yeah, it just puts us in more of a frantic state. Um, and that uh, lowers our frequency. So asking for help can really affect a lot of things in a lot of different ways. When we do it in a positive way, not in a self-serving way, we will get help. All we have to do is ask for it and keep our minds and hearts open for it. And sometimes when you ask for help, sometimes it's actually the solution coming to you um, and a self-revelation. Um, sometimes it can come in the form of that. It's really amazing when we're open-minded and um, open-hearted to certain things, how different forms of help will come through. So. And I think I'm going to take this advice myself. I have seen this type of advice from different card readings, different um, <laughs> posts I've seen, and the universe is like literally screaming at me right now for that one thing to ask for help. So I am going to be doing that. <laughs> so I really hope this uh, reading helped you guys. But uh, really, it's... Um, and as Timmy jumps all over the place again, um, <laughs> it's a really good reading because it helps us remember we're not alone. Even though we may um, isolate ourselves in physically and mentally sometimes when we're honed in on something and we're determined to make something perfect and get it done. Sometimes we just need to ask for help and it will turn out that much better. So with that, I hope you guys have a beautiful week. Click like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. It helps my channel grow and it will help get the message out to those who need to hear it. Until the next time, to know yourself is to know your truth. Namaste.